Today I'm reviewing One Car Stereo's Wireless CarPlay Android Auto HDMI AI Box. One Car Stereo was kind enough to send me this unit for review. I will have a link to this product in the video description. This product will only work with vehicles that come with wired CarPlay Android Auto. When you receive the unit, it comes in a very small package since the unit is compact. Opening the box, you'll notice the unit is well packaged. Inside the box, you'll see the AI box, manual, and three cable options. For both of my cars, we will be using the USB-C to USB cable. This small box has several powerful features that can enhance your entertainment experience in your car. The main feature is the box's ability to convert any car equipped with wire CarPlay Android Auto to wireless. This makes connecting your phone to your infotainment system more convenient. Next, the box comes equipped with its own Android-based operating system, which allows you to use most apps available from the Android library. Having the extensive Android library at your fingertips, you can stream video from such apps as Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Disney+, and many other streaming services. Another feature that makes this unit different from others is the ability to send video out to external monitors via the built-in HDMI port. Unfortunately, I don't have rear monitors in my car, so I'm unable to show this feature. This would be great for traveling with passengers or everyday drives with your kids. Finally, the box has a built-in GPS module, which allows you to use Google Maps or WAS navigation online or offline. The installation process is very simple. Install the USB-C to USB cord into the unit. Then, plug the USB into your car's media USB port. Some cars have a separate media charging and charging only port. Turn the car on and wait for the unit to boot up. You may notice the screen does not fit your car's infotainment screen. This is normal. The unit will automatically detect the screen size and reset itself to fill the factory screen correctly. After the screen has been reset, a safety warning screen will appear. You must agree and accept the warning screen before you can continue to the home screen. When you view the home screen for the first time, you'll see that it has large icons with a logical monochromatic layout. This makes for an easy user experience. You'll also notice a small orange circle on the screen. This icon allows you to back out or go home from any screen and it can be moved anywhere on the screen. This is helpful since not all apps have a back or home button. The main screen has 13 preset icons. These include navigation, music, car audio, which opens CarPlay or Android Auto, YouTube, Exit, which takes you back to your car's infotainment screen, Netflix, Spotify, App List, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Music, Settings, Browser, which allows you to surf the internet, and Clear Tasks, which closes all open apps. On the left side of the screen, you have buttons for Voice Assistant, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Home, and Back. To connect your phone to the box, click on the Bluetooth icon with the picture of a phone. Next, select Pair, then select your phone at the top of the screen. Finally, select Pair on your phone. You will be prompted to allow the box to access your contacts and CarPlay or Android Auto. Once you've agreed, the box will display CarPlay or Android Auto on the screen. I have the unit connected to my wife's car and she has an Android phone, so you can see Android Auto is being displayed. A suggestion I would make would be to disconnect your phone from your car's Bluetooth. This way, your phone is not trying to connect to your car and the AI box at the same time. The screen layout is the same as you would see on your car's wired CarPlay or Android Auto, so there's nothing to relearn. The small icon at the bottom left of the screen has tiny squares. This icon allows you to switch what is being displayed. It has three modes. The first is split screen, which shows navigation and media at the same time. The next display mode will display a single app, such as the map in full screen, or Pandora in full screen. The final display mode is the app screen, which will show you all your phone's apps. 
When you're in the app screen, you will see an app that says Exit. This will take you back to the box's main screen. To go back into CarPlay or Android Auto, select the Car Audio icon. I found everything worked well and was fluid. When you shut the car off and get back into your car, your phone will automatically connect to the box and begin displaying CarPlay or Android Auto. To be able to stream video such as Netflix, YouTube, or other streaming service, you'll need to connect the box to a hotspot. This could be through your phone or vehicle. On the screen, select the second white circle icon on the left side of the screen. This will open up the Wi-Fi menu. At the top of the screen, turn on the unit's Wi-Fi. Next, on your phone, search for Wi-Fi networks and find AP-E74C. Type in the password. The default password is 123-456-78. Go to your phone and open up the hotspot menu and turn on your phone's hotspot. If you don't have a password set already, set a password now. Go back to the car screen and select the Wi-Fi icon on the left side of the screen. Find the name of your hotspot network and type in the password you just set. Once connected, you can now enjoy navigation, streaming, internet browsing, and downloading of other apps on the AI box. Since the box has an Android-based operating system, you have a lot of flexibility on how each app works. For example, when I opened up the navigation app for the first time, I was given a choice on which navigation app I wanted to use as default. You have the same option for the other apps using APK customization. Some of the apps like YouTube and Google Maps will allow you to use them without signing in. But other apps like Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus you will have to sign into before being able to use them. To gain access to other apps such as Disney Plus, you'll have to select the app icon from the box's main screen. I hooked up the box to both my wife's car and my car. I showed my wife's car first, going over how the Android Auto looks on the unit. Now I'm gonna show how the interface looks using CarPlay in my car. The process of installing the box in my car was the same as it was in my wife's. Simply plug the USB cable into the car's media USB port. Since my screen is a different size versus my wife's car, the box automatically detected the change, reset itself, and restarted with the correct screen format. I had already paired my phone with the box previously, so I didn't have to go through that process again. Since my screen is a bit bigger than my wife's car, more of the icons were on the first page of the home screen. Here's a recap of how the system works. Back on the car's home screen, select CarPlay. This will take you to the box's user interface home screen. Select the Car Audio icon to go to the CarPlay interface. Select the Exit icon to go back to the box's user interface home screen. Select Exit to go back to the car's user interface. From the box's home screen, select Netflix or YouTube to watch videos. You will have to sign in to Netflix before you're able to use the app. Select App List to use or download other content. I found this AI box to be a very nice product. It worked great for CarPlay and Android Auto. It's compact and has a lot of versatility. I only have two issues with the unit. One, I'm not a fan of the brown exterior color. I wish they had chosen black for the color of the unit. This would have made the box disappear under my dash. If your media USB is in your center console, this won't be an issue for you. You could solve this issue by purchasing a longer USB-C 
to USB cable and placing the box in your glove box or center console. And two, I found my phone's hotspot was not up to the task of streaming video. I have a business plan through Verizon with the lowest possible hotspot data. So I would say you need to make sure that your hotspot is capable of streaming video. It would be best if the hotspot could handle 1080p or higher for the cleanest, smoothest possible picture. If your car has wired CarPlay and Android Auto and you want to go wireless with the additional capabilities to not only watch video on your car's main screen, but on additional monitors as well, then the HE CarPlay box from One Car Stereo is a great choice. If you don't need an HDMI output, One Car Stereo has a unit below this one for around $20 less. It removes the HDMI out, but adds phone mirroring. I will have a link in the description to both products. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more content.